Jason Collins has become the first openly gay major pro sports athlete. He signed a 10 day contract with the local to me Brooklyn Nets, and he checked into the game against Los Angeles against Los Angeles Lakers in L.A. at 1028 in the second quarter, received a very respectable round of applause. I think that this is great. I, of course, think that this was a, a barrier that needed to be broken. We have the possibility of the same happening in the NFL next season after depending on how the draft goes. And I like that the Nets said this was a, a decision based purely on basketball. We looked at the players that were available. He is the one who uh, uh, we believed was the guy to run this 10 day contract. And so we hired him at the same time. I think it will be even more powerful when it doesn't matter. And it's not even discussed when a player is brought onto a team, right? That's when really this is step one. But the big step will be when openly gay players uh, in, in, in all four of the major sports leagues are coming and going and nobody talks about it because it doesn't matter. You're right. Uh, this is great. Of course, uh, what was really shocking to me was that there are 10 day contracts in the NBA. It's uh, typical at this time of the season before the playoff rosters, teams will bring on players to see how they fit and maybe keep them on the playoff roster. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I guess in that context, it makes sense. But yeah, you're right. Uh, this shouldn't be a big deal. Of course it is. Um, but I'd like to think that the next time this happens, it will be slightly less of a big deal.